Hello everyone. Today we will be discussing some multiple choice questions on intellectual property rights that is IPR. In this video, we will be taking up some questions on geographical indications and plant varieties. So, without wasting much time, let's start our video. Question number 1. Geographical indication is option A, private right, option B, community right, option C, intellectual property right or option D both option B and option C so the correct answer for this question is option D both option B that is community right and option C intellectual property right question number two geographical indications are used to indicate option A a geographical place option B a link between some characteristic of a good and the particular region where it is produced option c the place where the goods are manufactured or produced or option d the origin of goods the correct answer for this question is option b a link between some characteristics of a good and the particular region where it is produced question number three geographical indication establishes option a product place link option b product origin Option C, place name or option D, all of the above. So the correct answer for this question is option A, product place link. Question number 4. When was the geographical indication of goods registration and protection act enacted? Option A, 1995. Option B, 1997. Option C, 1999. Or option D, 2003. The correct answer for this question is option C, 1999. Question number 5. Which section of the Act defines geographical indications? Option A, section 21B. Option B, section 21E. Option C, section 21F. Or option D, section 21G. So, the correct answer for this question is Option B, Section 21E. Question number 6. According to Section 21F of the Act, goods means Option A, Agricultural goods. Option B, Manufactured goods. Option C, Goods of handicraft. Or Option D, all of the above. The correct answer for this question is Option D, all of the above. Question number 7. Who can be considered a producer in relation to goods under the Geographical Indications Act? Option A. A person who produces, processes or packages agricultural goods. Option B. A person who uses natural goods in making or manufacturing products. Option C. A person who makes or manufactures handicrafts or industrial goods. Or Option D. All of the above. The correct answer for this question is... Option D, all of the above. Question number 8. Who can apply for registration of a geographical indication? Option A, an association of persons. Option B, an organization of producers. Option C, an individual. Or option D, both option A and option B. The correct answer for this question is Option D, both option A and an association of persons and option B, an organization of producers. An application for registration of a geographical indication may be made to registrar of geographical indications by any association of persons or producers or any organization or authority representing the interest of the producers of the concerned goods. The applicant has to be a legal entity and should be representing the interest of producers of the good applied for. Question number 9. Geographical indication can be used for the protection of Option A. Traditional knowledge Option B. Traditional skill Option C. Both Option A and Option B Or Option D. Knowledge The correct answer for this question is Option C. Both option A, traditional knowledge, and option B, traditional skill. Question number 10. To register a geographical indication, the documents required includes Option A, 
map of that territory option b uniqueness of the product option c both option a and option b option d none of the above the correct answer for this question is option c both option a map of the territory or option b uniqueness of the product question number 11 Section 9 of the Act prohibits the registration of certain geographical indications. These are: Option A, geographical indication which is likely to deceive or cause confusion. Option B, geographical indication which is a generic name. Option C, geographical indication which would otherwise be disentitled to protection. Or option D, all of the above. The correct answer for this question is. option d all of the above question number 12 can geographical indications be registered as a trademark option a yes option b no option c yes in some cases or option d yes with prior permission from the controller the correct answer for this question is option b no a geographical indication cannot be registered as a trademark Question number 13 What is the term of geographical indication protection Option A unlimited period Option B 20 years but may be renewed from time to time for an unlimited period Option C 15 years but may be renewed from time to time for an unlimited period or option D 10 years but may be renewed from time to time for an unlimited period The correct answer for this question is Option D 10 years but may be renewed from time to time for an unlimited period. Question number 14 Who can use a registered geographical indication? Option A A person having interest in goods to which the geographical indication relates. Option B A person residing in the area to which the geographical indication relates. Option C A producer of the goods in respect of which a geographical indication has been registered. Or option D, an authorized user. The correct answer for this question is option D, an authorized user. Question number fifteen: Geographical indication can be licensed. Option A, yes. Option B, no. Option C, yes in some cases. Option D, yes with stringent quality control. The correct answer for this question is option B, no. Question number 16 Who can initiate an action for the infringement of a geographical indication Option A the registered proprietor Option B the authorized user Option C an individual having interest or Option D both option A and option B The correct answer for this question is Option D both option A the registered proprietor and option B the authorized user question number 17 which was the first indian product to get the geographical indication tag option a arunamulla kanadi option b darjeeling tea option c katarni rice or option d madhubani paintings the correct answer for this question is option b darjeeling tea question number 18 Protection of plant varieties and farmers right act was enacted in the year option A 1999 option B 2001 option C 2003 or option D 2004 The correct answer for this question is option B 2001 Question number 19 Plant Varieties Act was an outcome of India's obligation to which agreement or convention Option A Article 27 3B of TRIPS agreement Option B Article 27 3C of TRIPS agreement Option C Article 2 of UPOF convention or option D Article 3 of UPOF convention The correct answer for this question is option A Article 27 3B of TRIPS agreement Question number 20 According to section 2 ZA of the act variety means option A lowest rank in Texan option B 
हाईएस्ट रैंक इन टैक्सन ऑप्शन सी इंटरमीडिएट रैंक और ऑप्शन डी नॉट रिलेटेड टू टैक्सन द करेक्ट आंसर फॉर दिस क्वेश्चन इज ऑप्शन ए लोएस्ट रैंक इन टैक्सन क्वेश्चन नंबर 21 द प्लांट वैरायटी प्रोटेक्टेड इन इंडिया इंक्लूड्स ऑप्शन ए एक्सटेंट वैरायटी ऑप्शन बी एसेंशियली डिराइव्ड वैरायटी ऑप्शन सी फार्मर्स वैरायटी और ऑप्शन डी ऑल ऑफ द अबव द करेक्ट आंसर फॉर दिस क्वेश्चन इज ऑप्शन डी ऑल ऑफ द अबव क्वेश्चन नंबर 22 Who can apply for registration under the Plant Varieties Act? Option A, breeder of the variety. Option B, any individual. Option C, any person authorized by the breeder. Or option D, both option A and option C. So the correct answer for this question is option D, both option A, breeder of the variety, and option C, any person authorized by the breeder. Section 2C of the Plant Varieties Act 2001 defines breeder as Breeder means a person or a group of persons or a farmer or a group of farmers or any institution which has bred, evolved or developed any variety. Section 16 of the Act provides that an application for registration of plant varieties is to be made by any one of the following persons either individually or jointly with any other person. Number 8 any person claiming to be the breeder of the variety number b any successor of the breeder of the variety number c any person being the assignee of the breeder of the variety in respect of the right to make such an application number d any farmer or group of farmers or community of farmers claiming to be the breeder of the variety number e any person authorized to make application by any aforesaid person or number f any university or publicly funded agricultural institution claiming to be the breeder of the variety question number 23 to register a plant variety the criteria for registration includes option a distinctiveness option b uniformity option c stability or option d all of the above the correct answer for this question is option d all of the above Question number 24 What is the term of plant varieties Option A 7 years in case of trees and vines 9 years in case of other crops Option B 8 years in case of trees and vines 5 years in case of other crops Option C 9 years in case of trees and vines 6 years in case of other crops or option D 6 years in case of trees and vines 9 years in case of other crops The correct answer for this question is option C 9 years in case of trees and vines 6 years in case of other crops term of protection section 24 of the act deals with the term of protection of plant varieties the certificate of registration for a variety including the essentially derived variety shall be valid for 9 years in the case of trees and vines and 6 years in the case of other crops they can be reviewed and renewed for remaining period on the payment of such fees as may be fixed by the rules made in this behalf subject to the condition that the total period of validity shall not exceed number 1 in case of trees and vines 18 years from the date of registration of the variety number 2 in case of extant variety 15 years from the date of notification of that variety by the central government and number 3 in other cases 15 years from the date of registration of the variety question number 25 dus that is d u s is an acronym for option a distinct uniform stable option b distinct ultimate stable option c distinct ultimate suitable or option d distinctive uniform and suitable the correct answer for this question is option a distinct uniform stable question number 26 opposition to registration of plant variety can be filed only on the grounds that option a 
the person opposing to the application is entitled to the breeder's right. Option B. The variety is not registrable under the Act. Option C. The grant of certificate of registration may not be in the public interest and the variety may have adverse effect on the environment. Or option D. All of the above. So the correct answer for this question is option D. All of the above. Question number 27. UPOV, that is UPOV, is an acronym for Option A, International Union for the Protection of New Varieties of Plants Option B, Indian Union for the Protection of New Plant Varieties Option C, International Unit for Plant Variety Protection or Option D, International Unit for the Protection of New Varieties of Plants So the correct answer for this question is Option A, International Union for the Protection of New Varieties of Plants. Question number 28. India became a member of UPOF Convention in the year. Option A, 2000. Option B, 2001. Option C, 2002. Or Option D, 2003. The correct answer for this question is Option C, 2002. Question number 29. Central government is obliged under the Protection of Plant Variety and Farmers' Right Act to constitute Option A. Gene Fund Option B. National Gene Fund Option C. Fund and Option D. All of the above. The correct answer for this question is Option B. National Gene Fund. Question number 30. Which section of the Act provides for the constitution of National Gene Fund? Option A, Section 20. Option B, Section 25. Option C, Section 45. Or Option D, Section 57. The correct answer for this question is Option C, Section 45. That's all for today. I hope you all learned something new. In our next video, we will discuss some questions on copyrights. Keep learning. All the best.